So I'll start with Sean first. Um, Sean, you've had a few fights um, under your belt. Yeah, I've only had. Uh, no, no, I'm just going to ask you. So you've had a few fights under your belt. Um, just let us know how your training is going. Where you're training? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, I'm training quite hard. Um, I've had two fights this year. Um, the last other fight was 14 years ago um, when I boxed from a regiment, and then I had a hiatus for 14 years and sort of brought back up. And I had an ultra white collar fight, uh, which I won against Adam Nichols, um, which I won, uh, and uh, I lost my last one, unfortunately. But I think on my last fight, I uh, I went in too aggressive and then too hard, and I was just sort of gassed out. Um, and and he was he, you know the better man won that night. Um, I you know I did it was uh, power versus skill really. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know where my opponent obviously. Yeah, the, the, he's um, obviously not here today, unfortunately. So um, but yeah, no, I'm 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 ready for this fight. Train hard, get my fitness up, um, and make sure I have you know more. You know, I, I won't get gassed out. So. So you say, obviously, you gassed out. Um, have you learnt from your last fight? Obviously, going in guns hole. Yeah, yeah, I have learnt. Yeah, um, I think I just got a bit too excited. Um, I think I just, I had, I had the vision just to knock him out in the first round, um, which you know I sort of nearly did, but then I, I just, yeah, he just caught me on two good, good hits and got me down. And obviously my corner threw in the towel for safety reasons. Really, I, I thought I could have fought on, but um, yeah, I, um, I I look back and think, what the fuck was I doing? You know, I was I was going in too close. I've got a long reach, and I didn't use my reach. Um, even my trainer Yian, who trains me, you know, t twice twice a week, three times a week as well, um, he was like, well, you, you know, you, you could have beat him. You could have, you know, you you just literally threw your training out the window. And I just went in too too aggressive, and and that was that was my mindset at the time. This this fight it won't be that. I will be aggressive. Don't get me wrong, but I'm going to use my I'm going to use my reach and use the ring a bit more because I can move around the ring as well. So and I'm a southpaw. So and uh, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to use my reach, and uh, um, I know my opponent's a bit shorter, um, and he, he weighs does he does weigh less. So um, hopefully he doesn't get you know. Hopefully he doesn't come on the inside with me, but he's, I'm just going to move, stick and moves like, you know what I mean? So. That was going to be my next question. Do you know much about your opponent? Um, obviously you mentioned that he's shorter than you. Do you feel that's going to play a big advantage for you? I don't, well, I spoke to, spoke to Jason earlier. Um, I know he's shorter and he's, he weighs, he's had one white collar fight, ultra white collar fight, which I haven't seen. Um, I've heard he's quite, you know, he's tra been training really hard, um, but so have I. I've been training really hard, you know, I, I literally train about four or five times a week and I go to the gym on top and I've got quite a physical job, you know, and, uh, you know, train, uh, training's always been part of my, part of my mentality, you know, because I used to be, I, well, yeah, I, mean, I was, I was, used to box my regiment as well, so. So Jason, I'll come to you, um, uh, just explain, obviously you're not fighting, Sean, but um, just let everyone know about his opponent and how his training's going and, yeah. Come December seventh, what his game plan is, or if you want to divulge that, you can. So uh, Luca couldn't make it today. He's been uh, working a few night shifts and bounce, and obviously he's a tired, he's a youngster. But um, for me, I saw a little superstar in the making when I saw him in the gym. Started chatting to him, got to talk him under the wing. Like when I mean he's a little superstar, I and mean, when you see that them boxing superstars, you know you got got you got a bit of gold in your hands. Um, so I've been training him a lot. Um, he's had an ultra white collar fight. Funny enough, I sent it to someone else before for a fight. They didn't want to. They didn't want to take him. He's never had a fight. Do you know what I mean? So that's how good this kid is. Um, although he's a lot lighter, he's very skilled um, to the point where it's a little bit scary. That's how skilled he is. But obviously he's young. He's he's uh, young and innocent. He's not a bully. He's not. He's he's a good kid. Yeah. Um, and obviously, he's a little bit in fear because he's his first fight in bright lights, all that kind of thing. I explained it to him. And you're heavier, you're taller, your southpaw is getting a bit nervous. I said, listen, use the nerves for good reason, you know. So I'm just looking for to see the skill ratio of him and what he can do to a tall opponent, a southpaw, and take home the win. But obviously, they're both having a fight. But trust me, when I mean this kid's a superstar, and if he gets through this easily, we're going to go further. So obviously you say you're saying he's shorter, and he's lighter, but he, and he's but he's skillful. 
But do you feel do you feel like you can handle someone of Sean's size and strength? Because if he gets hit, that's going to be a massive bang. Um, and I know you're saying he's short and skillful, and he's 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 a he's a good boxer in the making. But can he handle the power of Sean? The fact of it, can he handle an uppercut? When you see these kids uppercuts, uppercuts is one of the hardest punches to land. It takes many years to, to land the uppercut. The last fight, the, the how many uppercuts this kid landed, and if and it's lucky that he had the helmet on the person, because they were going to spark that. That when I mean a nice uppercut. Obviously, he's quite tall, so he's got to, he's got to get inside to land them uppercut. So I'm teaching him how to get in. The I hear that, but like I hear that, but you say about uppercuts, but he's a he's a he's a big he's a fucking unit, man. He's a unit. Um, so him being lighter and shorter, and he's got to get inside to get them uppercuts. Um, can he can he get inside to do that? I'm hoping he can. I'm hoping he can. You know, our, the fight's not happened, in it. So when you're in the corner, you see what you see in it. And obviously, they're the shots that I, I like them uppercuts, in it? But when the fight happens, you've got to see what you can see. Like I said, he's, he's going to punch hard. He's, he weighs a lot. He's tall. We don't, we're not stupid about that. But I just see like a little kid that's got, got a future. And if, if he can develop and go through this fight perfectly without any scratches and scrapes and whatever, I just think it's going to be a good, nice fight for him. You know, so if, if you fight someone heavy or taller and you win, what's that going to be, be for him? Do you know what I mean? So you've heard you've heard that from Jason. He's, he's smaller and lighter, and Jason believes in this kid, and believes he can he can get the win. But obviously he's smaller and lighter. How does that how does that bode for you? Don't really know. Really, I'm pretty much looking forward to it. Um, obviously, you know if he can if he can get get into my get into my space. But you know I I can you know. If he's short on me, I'm going to use my reach. You know, I'm going to use my reach and move. You know, jab and move, jab and move, and when bang, straight, I'm going to go that straight with that left, left one. All right. So I'm just, he's he's not he's not going to come close. You know, unless he comes quick. But I am quick for someone who weighs 110. You know, I am quite quick. Um, and obviously, I've got the power. I know I have. So um, yeah. So let's let's see on the fight. Let's see on the on the night. You know, I am really looking forward to it, and I can't wait to fight your your opponent. Oh, well, your your train or your fighter, so. You hear it, guys. Um, <laughs> well done, boys. So we give it up for Sean and Jason. <laughs> we'll have your face off there, buddy. Oh, no, no, no.